Good afternoon, guys. So, ayan, good afternoon. Um, it's been a long time since my last video. So, ngayon sinipag si Antinyo, gumawa ng video. So, um, as you all know, we've been stuck in quarantine for almost six months dito sa Baguio City. Um, and in that six months, most of us became lazy, uh, dormant, inactive, lahat na ng synonyms ng mga salitang iyon. Our lives are in a cycle of katuga, which is kain, tulog, gala, pero syempre minus the gala dahil quarantine nga. So while I was having um, breakfast nung Monday, I, I suddenly had an idea. Since we have so much time in our hands, there are so many things that can be done. So I made a list of productive things that can be done during quarantine. So if you're interested, then just keep watching the video. For number one of one of the most important na dapat gawin natin ngayong quarantine is to process and obtain per our important documents such as yung mga birth certificate, um, NBI, police clearance, cedula, barangay clearance, lahat-lahat na. Um, in my case, I will be renewing my passport. So kung wala ka pang passport, ngayon na magpa-appointment ka na. And also, finally, uh, mag-process din ako ng para sa aking driver's license, student, student's driver's license. So, habang may panahon ka pa, I, since quarantine nga, I believe yung mga pila sa mga offices ay hindi na kasing haba katulad noon. So, ngayon, do it now nga, habang may oras pa tayo. And since, believe me, after quarantine, ito yung mga papers na kakailanganin natin. Iso ka pa yung ipilaan, mga, mga kabab... <laughs> kabab... Nataga, iso ka pa yung ipilaan ng matagal. <laughs> Sorry. But ayun, so, uh, another uh, important or productive thing in my list is, of course, to learn a new skill. So, as you all know, learning is endless. Possibilities of learning is endless. So, in my case, since magpa-process nga ako ng driver's license, edi mag-aaral ako ha, paano mag-drive ng maayos. And aside from that, I'm also learning a new language as of the moment. So, I'm, I've been learning uh, Turkish for about four months now. And I'm very, very happy kasi masasabi ko na medyo competent na ako talaga in understanding and in speaking the language to the point na naiirita na sa akin yung mga tao sa bahay kasi nagsasalita, bigla tatanungin nila ako, sasagot ako in Turkish <laughs> eh, hindi nga ako marunong magkankanay, sabi ng nanay ko ano ka ba naman, Turkish na aral mo pero magkankanay, hindi ka marunong eh, yun yung language natin so ayun, um, I would be definitely adding that to my list, mag-aaral akong magkankanay so, if you're not into those things, then you can learn how to cook. Ang dami na nga atang naging chef dahil sa quarantine eh. Um, you can learn how to paint, how to draw, be a computer literate. There are so many things that you can learn within the four walls of your home. Like I said, learning is an endless process. So, yeah, madami pa tayong matututunan. Since madami tayong time, madami tayong pwedeng matutunan. So, number three sa productive uh, things of productive things that you can do is house or closet cleanup. So, ngayon na yung panahon natin to finally get rid of those old pots, those old pans, plates, old clothes, old shoes, things that we have stored in the back of our closets thinking that one day, ay, masusuot ko pa to, to the point na hindi na pala natin sila masusuot kasi maliit na sila, nasira na. So, ngayon, it's time to get rid of those things. I remember my mom, um, kasi lagi niya nga nakikita yung, yung cabinets ko, yung, yung cabinet ko at yung closet ko, uh, ang daming daming damit to the point na hindi mo na masara. So, sabi niya sa akin, Colleen, you have to get rid of all those things to make space for the new things that are about to come in your life. O, di ba, bongga? Parang, um, hindi mo lang siya ma-apply actually sa mga bagay eh. Na-apply mo siya sa mga tao din. So, this is the time to get finally get rid of toxic relationships or people who has nothing but negative uh, who has nothing or has given you nothing but negativity sorry so ayun finally get rid of them so that you are able to make space for the people who can finally do some good in your life diba also back to things kung if you're a charitable person then you can finally give those things away sa mga taong nangangailangan but if you want to make extra income then yun na sumali ka na sa online selling mag live ka rin mag ano na yun Antagon barter ba yon? Ayon, mo barter ka din, di ba? Oh, amazing. 
So num another one in my list is of course to focus um focus on our health and of course character development. Since yung um, panahon ng sakit ngayon, it's time for us to finally take care of ourselves to stay fit and healthy, to exercise or achieve yung dream body na pinapangarap natin. Pero dapat masipag ka. Ako nga eh, lagi ko sinasabi, gusto kong pumayit, gusto kong pumayit. Pero, tamad naman kasi ako. So, pag gusto mo yung maging fit, dapat meron din, dapat masipag ka din mag-exercise. Ayun. So, character development din naman, since madami tayong panahon, kailangan na natin i-assess yung sarili natin. Yung mga, sa tingin natin, yung mga bagay na hindi maganda sa atin, it's time for us to change yung mga attitudes or mga characters natin na ganun. So, in my case, um, Actually, isa sa mga naging reasons kung bakit lagi kong sinustol yung paggawa ng vlog or lagi kong pinipigilan yung sarili ko kasi lagi kong sinesecond guess or dinadoubt yung sarili ko. Um, I, I think uh, I'm not pretty enough to be seen sa selfo or to, to be seen. Parang nahihiya ako and wala akong confidence or feeling ko kasi walang manonood sa akin na nagsasayang lang ako ng oras. So ngayon, dapat baguhin natin yung sa sarili natin. It's time for us to improve ourselves, to build ourselves up. Yun. To finally be confident. Yun. Yun yung dapat pinafocus natin sa mga panahong ito. Hindi yung puro, puro negative things. Ano. Um, and aside from that, um, another productive thing is also to pursue your passion. So, if you're into making stories, if you're into making music, then this is the right time to finally pursue the things that you wanted to do for so long. So, ako nga, um, pinupursu kong mag-vlog. Hindi naman siya yung passion ko talaga, pero I've been wanting to, I, I wanted to vlog for so long. So, ayun, ngayon, tinatry ko na. I'm giving it a chance. So, if you have something in your mind that you want to give a chance, then you can do it now. And, uh, last on my list is um, strengthening our faith in being thankful. Um, as you all know, um, um, COVID-19 took so many lives, millions of lives around the world. And you being alive today, you have to be thankful for that. We have to be thankful for the uh, uh, for another opportunity that was given us, given to us, na mabuhay ulit. So ayun, dapat pinagpapasalamatan natin yung mga bagay na ito. So for now, yun muna yung mga nasa, nasa list ko. But I, I believe, ha, lal, haba ba ito nang haba? So, as I'm giving vlogging another try, um, sana samahan niyo ako sa journey ko as I accomplish every single thing that I have written dun sa listahan ko. So, um, it will be kind of like an educational daily life kind of vlog style yung gagawin ko sa ngayon. So, para sa mga tao na hindi alam mag-process na ng driver's license, ganun, at least alam nila or may matututunan kayo sa aking videos dito sa para hindi lang puro pagdadaldala at makik matututunan niyo sa akin. So ayun guys, um if you're interested in that or if you want to add some things to my list, then don't hesitate to give me a comment or leave me a message. Um don't forget to like and to subscribe sa aking Instagram and sa aking YouTube page. So I'll be um naming my YouTube page Bagulas since yeah, I'm a Bagulas. Ayun guys, thank you for your time. Thank you for your listening. Sana samahan niyo ako sa journey na ito. Um, Mag-iingat kayo lagi. God bless everyone. Bye-bye!